Last year, this team won their third county title in the past four years, but got upset in the state tournament. Despite some key graduation losses, it's business as usual as this team is thinking league, county, and state titles. Welcome to Where in North Jersey is Rich Barton, preseason edition. Today we're at Rampo High School visiting the boys' soccer team. Last year this team won a county title before getting upset by Indian Hills in the North 1 Group 3 semifinals. Today we'll be talking with head coach Evan Baumgarten, senior Noah Kilday, and junior Sebastian Varela about the upcoming season. Rampo finished 18-2-1 last year, winning their third Bergen County title in the last four years before getting upset by Indian Hills in the North 1 Group 3 semifinals. Rampo loses one of the top one-two punches in North Jersey, with Dylan Rocchio and Charlie Ortiz having graduated. Having won eight Bergen County titles since 2000, Coach Baumgarten wants to keep his team focused by taking it one game at a time. We don't look beyond, you know, today. You know, uh, it's always the way we've been here is just to make sure that, you know, we're accountable to each other and we care for each other. You know, at the end of the day, good things will happen. We have the depth and new opportunities for other guys. You know, now it's their turn. You know, some of the kids have to wait here, you know, longer than maybe other places. The training is where it happens. You know, training, you train, you know, when you're going at it in training, you know, we try to make training harder than a game. So that's where the depth really helps. You know, and it starts in training, you know, then it leads to the game. Andrew Bernetti is returning to play for Rampo after playing for two club teams last year. The Green Raiders will look for returning senior Noah Kilday and junior Sebastian Varela to play important roles this season. We have to come out, we have to want to, want to win games more, uh, come out with that passion, that fire that we had in the beginning of the season, and um, if we can come out, work hard, just play together, then all things will go well. And um, We um, don't like to focus too much on the long, we just take one game at a time, and you know if those things come, they're great, but um, it is a big reputation to live up to, uh, a lot of county championships, a lot of state championships past um, couple past 10 years or so and um, it's just been a really really good success for the program we're very close our preseason is fantastic we really get to know the people on our team we feel like a family that's one of our mottos and um, that togetherness really helps us in the beginning we know how everyone plays and we just get together and just work hard and that's why I think we're successful early on Rampo gets a rematch with Indian Hills on September 20th before facing two tough games the next week at Northern Highlands and at home against Pascac Valley on the 29th. Well, those are going to be steps in a long like staircase to whatever we're trying to achieve, but we try to take a step at a time, you know. We're not going to look that far ahead, but yes, it's in our minds, but right now we're just focusing game by game, trying to get there, and then once we get there, we'll focus on that game and try to do the best that we can. After further review, Rampo had some key graduation losses and you don't replace players like Dylan Rocchio and Charlie Ortiz overnight. I think it's going to take Rampo a little time to find their way and they're going to make the Bergen County semifinals before being upset. But this team is going to peak at the end of the season and watch out for them in the state playoffs. They will win North 1 Group 3 and advance all the way to the Group 3 state final. Well, that wraps it up here at Rampo High School. Log on to NorthJerseySports.com and find out where I'll be next.